to you by SAP. SAP helps companies run like never before. Learn more by visiting us online. Now, every business is on the front line of the fight against cyber threats. That's the work according to Kaspersky Lab. Sergei Novikov, Deputy Director of their Global Research and Analysis Team, joins me now to tell us more about how cyber warfare is impacting your corporate security and what you can do to help. Sergei, welcome. Welcome. Uh, thank you for having me here. It's a pleasure for being here in South Africa. It's my, I am a big fan of your country. But anyway, let's let's talk more or less about the, the subject. Fantastic. You, you Good to have you. Now, during the Info Security Conference this year, it's actually your CEO, Eugene Kaspersky, that said that every business in, is on the front line of cyber warfare. If we look at international cyber threats and trends, it does seem like we're at war with cyber criminals. Exactly. So the, the, I, I only can agree with this quote and the, the problem is that the main trend of cyber threats today is targeted attacks, advanced persistent threats as we call them, whatever. So uh, the, main, uh, the main idea of cyber criminals is to attacking different businesses for any purposes, for stealing information, for compromising them, for organizing DDoS attacks, whatever, any kind of reasons. But the main trend today, they are switching their attention more or less from attacking from home users to attacking to different kind of businesses and government organizations. Let's talk about business first. Now, cybersecurity is more than just keeping your antivirus software updated. It's having the right level of security strategies and protocols in place. Well, with that said, are companies paying enough attention to cybersecurity in that extent? Absolutely. So the problem here, again, uh, lack of information, lack of awareness, mm -hmm. lack of education, whatever it is. So a lot of companies, more or less small companies, medium companies, they're absolutely relaxed and they feel that nobody will take care of them and nobody wants them to attack. They're nothing to steal from them and so on and so forth. The problem is that any kind of company can be under attack any kind of attack. So what we can recommend is, first of all, the most important thing is to rise the security awareness level mm -hmm. in every sector of business, financial, telecommunication, uh, oil, gas, and so on and so forth. So any kind of business, if your company is profitable more or less, sooner or later you'll be under attack. Uh, based, I don't know, from your competitors, from cyber criminals, from different governments, from different nations, whatever. So uh, you need to be prepared. How? Antivirus, firewalls, any kind of uh, technical solutions. Uh, so I don't know, up to date, reliable, uh, good technical solutions. This is the first advice. Mm -hmm. The second advice, as you said, uh, policies, protocols, uh, restricted policies inside your infrastructure, which is really, really important, and uh, implementing these policies. And last but not least, and maybe the most important, is education. Who is the weakest link inside your organization? It's your users. Of course. <laughs> uh, your employees. You need to educate them, educate them regularly, making tasks, trainings, whatever. And who are the first victims? Top managers. Top managers, they have a lot of sensitive information. They have a huge access to uh, corporate infrastructure. And also, they're quite vulnerable because they're using Mac computers. They're using uh, not updated software, and so on and so forth. So um, technical solutions like software and uh, security software, policies, and uh, implementing the rules inside your organization, and education. Now, from a trains perspective, what's the biggest risk in cybersecurity right now? Is there a new worm on the attack? Ah, nice. Uh, it's a good question. To be honest, uh, as, as Kaspersky Lab, as a security vendor, we are finding something very hot and interesting almost several times in a quarter. Something, the same stuff as Gauss, Flame, uh, Stax, Naduku. Then we found Red October. Maybe you've heard about this huge, uh, not worm, but a Trojan who steals a lot of confidential information from high profile organizations. Then we find, uh, found the Net Traveler, uh, which is also very global and attacked very high profile uh, organizations. So more or less, 
almost each quarter, several times in the quarter, we found something very sophisticated, very complicated and new. So here we're running out of time, but there's a quick last question I want to bring your attention sure. to. We've heard about the Snowden saga that's going on. And there's a big difference between national security and cybersecurity from a you know consumer per perspective, a corporate perspective. How do we balance the act between over-policing of the internet and protecting our businesses and protecting ourselves? Uh, it's a tough question, but you need to find a, like a silver uh, middle, like a silver bullet in terms of if we want to uh, make our information secure, protected, we need to uh, invest a lot of resources, money, researchers into, into this, uh, in this area. Uh, if we don't want to, if, uh, to, to make our information secure and protected, you can allow everything. But again, it depends. It depends on what you want. Uh, the story with Snowden, the story with uh, other, um, I don't know, targeted attacks in different parts of the world show us that we need to take care of information and people who are working with this sensitive information. That's the main idea why I wanted to share. Well, that's a perfect place to leave it. Sergei Novikov, thank you very much.